Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Sword of the Stars. And what a wonderful time we had last time, didn't we? I laughed my ass off. So, you see, we're at a slightly different screen than usual. This is the screen that pops up every time you load up a new game, a uh, current game that you're playing. And as you can see, here's all the factions in the game. Here's one that I haven't run into, Tokta the Just. He is in the fifth position. I have not seen him at all this game. He is a Morigi faction. So it's really unfortunate we only had three factions visible this game. But uh, here we are. We're number six. Here's the people who are destroying us. The Wardens of Darkness? Yeah. They're number one in the game. And Kopios, he's dropped back to third since... The events of the previous episode, I presume because of fighting and unseen circumstances, Timur is up to number two. And La Makno Lan Makona and Tokta aren't and me aren't even in the running at this point. This is unfortunate. However, the game must continue. So this series will be finishing up. The uh, if we're not destroyed by turn 200, if something were to happen where the computer just wouldn't care to finish me off, then I'm just gonna surrender. I don't think we want a hundred turns and five episodes of me sitting here looking at my home planet, waiting for something to happen. So, I'm setting turn 200 for the cutoff. If I see something that gives me a glimmer of hope, then I may reconsider my position. But as of now, we're losing Sirma. We will likely lose Gallifrey. This fleet may possibly win this battle, but it's not going to be in a very good shape. We have all these planets that are still being developed. And Temur is over here having a party. Right now, our best planet is Cathalt. We've been at with we've had it for quite a while now. And Camcare is currently having a rebellion. Hopefully they fight that off. But I wouldn't be surprised at this point if they just got completely obliterated. But that is the cutoff point. If I do not end, if the game does not end, if I am not defeated by turn 200, I will come in here. I will push the surrender button. That will be the end of the game, unless something happens to change my mind. It's doubtful, everybody. We definitely did a good little bit of damage there. Here, we're just gonna auto okay. Well, mm, I go shoot you guys a good show again. No, I'll just auto calculate it. It's no fun if I'm not in the battle, everybody. It was fairly entertaining to watch, I'll give you that much. But indeed, Kufios is not a happy camper. We probably destroyed, between me and the Wardens of Darkness in that battle previously, we've probably defeated a sizable chunk of their fleet. The problem is, is that the, the Wardens just don't care. They do not care. They are tech masters of this game at the moment. And that's not looking to change anytime soon. So, let's try to protect the squad command as best as we can. I don't think we have any special weapons, so we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to sit back, we're going to enjoy the show, and we're going to watch a couple of these destroyers get blasted out of the water by our cruisers, I hope. Indeed. And possibly this ship as well, because it's sticking out there pretty good. Our command ship is under attack by... Something. 
something. Ah, I see. These are drones. There are yet another one of the uh, Morgie's skilled weapons of destruction. I believe they're countered by point defense, but we don't really have the best point defense in the game, everybody. And these ships are quite maneuverable compared to the average missile. It's something to keep in mind. Oh, there goes the cruiser, and there goes one of my cruisers. Come along, then. Fire on all batteries. Obliterate them. Ooh. That's one of their, uh, refinery ships. Much like our refinery ships, they fuel the fleet. Of course. Do we have Mark VI armor? Let's see how good that does. I, we haven't actually seen one of them in battle yet. They have a bunch of missiles strapped to them, though. All of these are DF racks. And that is another advantage of putting your ships on close to attack. If you accidentally right click somewhere, your ship's not going to oops. Your ship's not going to mm, Your ship's not going to go anywhere other than towards the enemy. And as you've seen a couple of times, I've had some trouble with that over the last couple battles. I would attempt to uh, rotate the camera and I would accidentally click and not hold the mouse button down. It's unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world, everybody. Not as many missiles as the cruiser fires, but still a decent chunk. Yeah, except you missed. And you're about to get destroyed by phasers. But, hey, it's okay, everybody. And these armor ships don't stand a chance. Do we have any cruisers left? Indeed we do. We have a bunch of cruisers left. Whoops, misclicked. We unfortunately don't have any of the good stuff left. But we can stick these cruisers up top. And they will deploy first. Which is always a bonus because destroyers do not do well against cruisers. This is a fact, everybody. Indeed, indeed. You're in a good position to hit that. Hit it with all of your power. Unfortunately, you only have missiles. They'll get shot down rather quickly because they're not DF rats. And they're subject to point defense. And we all know how well point defense has been treating me this game. Abusively. And hey, we have our Mark V out. Let us fire our weapon. We'll probably hit something. It's okay. With this, I do not my, uh, care what it hits as long as it hits something. There we go, that's a direct hit. Excellent. A yummy direct hit. Direct hits are tasty. I wish direct hits happened all the time. And it looks like they have three cruisers. They probably have a refinery out there somewhere off beyond my sight range. But uh, they all look fairly damaged. What are you up to? You're just kind of floating there. Taking your time. Having a party. It's okay. You're allowed. Come on, turn around. Get one of them into firing range. Okay, well that's not exactly what I wanted you to do. Uh, yeah. And then you fly through it. Well, okay. If you
you really want to? Why is my tanker cruiser up there? I'm okay with that. Maybe we'll destroy it and the explosion will kill all of them. At least the ship right next to it. Come on. Hit that one. It's fairly heavily damaged. We take it out and take the other one out. That would be a good time. It would indeed. There we go! I think, hmm, I think they have, no, we just fired it off. Okay, fair enough. Come on. Get out, get out, get out of there. Get out of there. Alright, they offered me, uh, cease combat. Because all they have left is that tanker. Like I said the earlier. That's a good estimate. So we did, technically, defeat their fleet. How about that? You want a battle, everybody. It's a good time. Sadly, Salusa is prohibitive, but there isn't anything we can do about that. And we're still having a rebellion here. So, oh wait, no we're not. This is good. This is a good thing. I we could pull out a couple of Mark 6s. How long until this will be done? Not that it matters at this point. That was really... Oh, and they're still fighting each other. And Kulpios is losing. Soundly. System Not that updates. hyperlink communications matter we'll anymore. Uh, if... I want to say if my fleet was over... If I'd sent my fleet the other direction, they could have stopped this. It, it, it wouldn't have bought us much time. It, it really wouldn't have. It's an unfortunate thing to say, but that's just the way it is. Well then, plasma focusing. Your word is law, Varkona. And now we're having Research issues researching because we don't have the money. We don't have the money to pump our research full of we will be yummy, as you command, tasty boosts. Man, they're still hitting that ship, that planet. But Serum is done. Indeed. We have lost a star well, in corner. I knew that was gonna happen. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Ooh. I'm sure some of you know that reference. I like cookies, though. Who am I, who am I kidding? Everybody likes cookies. Everybody likes cookies. Indeed. You know. And yeah, oh, I need to pull that fleet back. It's System imperative updates. that they get pulled back to resupply and repair. You know what? Just for the laws. Do I want the bio bomb on there? I can't particularly use it. I could, but. Hmm. I did a little bit of reading on the biobomb, and it specifically said that it's a bad idea to put it on turrets. I'm not entirely sure why. I assume it has something to do with flying into the planet. I'd imagine that would be a bad thing. Point defense isn't particularly useful against them. Uh, yeah, we could put some missiles on it, and we'll even put that on. Why not? Medium, defense, turret. There we go. This design will be safe and we'll reference. even build a bunch of those. That's why I made them. I'm going to put them all around my planet. My home planet. That place Keep needs defending. Your disposal of Need as much 
much protection as I can put around it. System update. Come along then. Up go over budget a little bit. Okay with that. You heard him. We must increase the fleet. Hey. System oh. update. We have detected a small Here we go. incoming fleet. They're gonna get my goods. They're gonna get Korkora. Well, yep. If if they attack there like they did, uh, Kelsathrum, they're gonna take it out. Let's see here. Oh uh, yes, of course, plasma focusing would go over budget. Why would I expect anything less? Well, at least that means we get to cut back our research a bit and maybe save a couple bucks for more turrets. I like turrets. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I have a tendency to do that. It probably doesn't help the over budget problem at all, actually. But why not? We, we don't know how. Uh, civilians like a thought have revolted. Well, that is an unfortunate thing. However, it's okay. Like I was saying, it probably doesn't really help the... Whatchamacallit? The... You heard him. Over budget? We must increase but... The they're not getting my money if they're not going to research faster. And, I mean... I, I could put all my money in, and I might gu guarantee it next turn to get plasma focusing. But I don't know how much money I'm going to be losing out of that. And I like my money. I like not wasting my money. There we go. We'll do that. That should finish it off real real nicely. Korkora, do you have... I might throw a few turrets around you as well. Because... Why not? Well... That's a good reason. Von Duman at Gallifrey. Enjoy. System update. I won't Our destroy the planet, but the it will take some of the resources and destroy the fleets. That's the thing. That's the thing that happened. On a bright side, terraforming is done. I'm not paying enough attention to that. I should be paying more. Now what's next? Well, 13 turns for expert systems. <sighs> Let us get salvage tech. Well, no, I should get something that's at least marginally useful, which is anything at this point. <laughs> Torpedoes. We could do torpedoes. Yeah, let's do some torpedoes. Our Plasma torpedoes. Excellent. Let us boost that some more. I forgot to do that. I apologize. I do that a lot. And we'll build a couple more defense platforms. And I said I wouldn't build that many. Hey, look at the liar that I am. You heard him. We must increase the fleet. We need all of the resources that we can squeeze out of our planets. System all of it. Update. I don't like doing it this way. But I'm desperate to win at this point. I really am. And we forgot to tweak the infrastructure there, but it's okay because it's about done. Hmm. Let us see. Gallifrey. I don't think he can do anything at this point. Not particularly. Well, finish up your infrastructure and we'll decide then. And our fleet has returned. This is a good. This is a good thing. System Let us. Update. Hmm. Hmm. Build an 
extended range ship. Yes, and we'll go see uh, if we'll have the they're colonizing no Sirma or not. Or if they decided to leave it alone. That would have been nice. I doubt it's not this case, but uh, it'd be nice. System updates. Let's see. Extended range ship. Add to new fleet. It's at the top, of course. Because it wants me to scroll through all the destroyers. Your world head over to Sirma. And we'll build another one to head to the other planet. At your disposal, yeah. Ooh. Well, we'll send it to Kubak. Sounds like a good idea to me. Where were we building? Cathal is still down. Korkora, I was building them at you. Have a few more medium defense turrets. Yes, Bakona. We'll have the ships out in no time. System. Rebellion at Cathal has been suppressed, everybody. How about that? It's at the top. Don't even bother going down. There we go. Go visit our old planet at Kubak. Alrighty then. So, as far as our imminent destruction goes, they seem to have System decided to troll me again are near our corner. by attacking as soon as I was about to express a glimmer of hope at them not attacking. Plasma torpedoes. I suppose they had to deal with what's his name sh fleet. That's understandable. Let's grab some advanced robotics. Reduce ship construction cost. We have been given the it's a good thing. Sum, and we will send our fleet down to Korkora. Will it get there in time? No. And Korkora is in the midst of a revolt. Excellent. And the turn. And yeah, that's 11 cruisers, everybody. System update. And it looks like they at least have their fleet still sitting at Serima. We shall see. On the bright side, we can turn our ships around now. That's the thing we can do. How about that? Isn't that special? A special thing when you get turn your ships around mid-flight. I should have gotten that a long time ago. Not that it would have helped you me. It you wouldn't have. The, the bottom line is, is that at the point where I would have considered researching it even in a good game, we were already getting our butts kicked. Ah, uh, ship's done. That ship's done. Kupak is an independent colony. Lovely. And we'll have to calculate that battle as well. System. And what do we have here? We have detected a small incoming fleet. One enemy ship. Well. Okay. So Kupak. Hmm. I could revenge kill them, send my fleet there and just crush them into the ground. It would make me feel better. I'd be dumping my planet down here under the bus, but it's already probably screwed. I'm not going to get there for four turns, everybody. Let's go hit Kupak. Those bastards will pay. Do I hear a mower? Could be mowing at this time. Well, whatever. Someone really wants to mow at this time of night. 
That's their prerogative. Not dealing with that. You heard him. We must increase the fleet. We must increase the fleet. We must increase the fleet more. All the fleets. And yeah. That's the island of Korkora. System update. One of our has been destroyed. Has One of our colonies has been indeed destroyed. I sat here and watched it. Well, not really, but I sat here and watched the game auto calculate it. Savari will win that battle. And the Von Neumann are attacking Altair. Uh, that's not my plan, and I don't care. That rhymed. I'm a poet and I don't know it. We have detected Combat drones. Too expensive. Fleet. Expert we systems. Research. And yeah, I'm being a little sloppy. How big is that fleet? I do not know. I do not know. One enemy ship. Okay. Build a couple more cruisers. That puts us a little over buzz it. Buzz it. Buzz it! Buzz, buzz, buzz. Hmm. No attacks this turn. Well, that's nice. Now I get to revenge kill Kupak. I'm gonna tweak my fleet a bit. If it needs it, it will. Okay. So we have our strike force come in there. I said. There. No. There. No. There. No. You know what? Fine. Good enough for me. And we'll put our cruisers in a traditional wedge formation. Only we'll actually be using our good cruisers. Because why not? Hello, Mark 6. Mark 6. And Mark... Meh. 6. How many more of you guys do we have? You're Mark 6. Good. And you are a Mark 5. Eh, unfortunate. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, auto calculate. But yeah, it is unfortunate that we only had three races in this game. I was hoping for a better spread, everybody. I was hoping for at least four. I would have been happy with four. I would have been very happy if they all picked different races. But sadly, that was not the case. It's a thing. It's a thing that transpired. And we will build as I can't really do anything to corner. help it. I could have gone in and uh, tweaked them. I could have given them one race each, and then I would have had a nice little spread. But what I would I would have known what they were. And really, where's the fun in that? The fun is in not knowing, everybody. The fun is in not knowing. You know who your enemies are, then it's easy. Hello there, Kupak. You revolted against me, and now it is time that I crush you into the ground, just like I did with Sirma long ago. So, you think you'd rebe rebel against me, huh? You think you would, uh... Finish me off, huh? Well then, let's see how you like some chemical warfare. Mark 6s. Mark 5s. Go nuts. I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens, everybody. I don't even know if this bio bomb can be fired at the planet. This corrosive payload, I guess, is what it's called. 
Although it looks like something's being fired. Oh, it's just their missiles. Tisk tisk. Fortunately, we have point defense for that. And it's working, everybody! Imagine that! Ah, there we go. We can fire it at the planet. Excellent. Wow. Apparently, so can they. Or maybe it's the corrosive... I don't know. of weapons exploding in our faces. Anything's possible. Let's show them the missiles, everybody! Feel free to exterminate the planet. They deserved it. Oops. I accidentally pushed the wrong button. This is unfortunate. But... Not troublesome. Ah, missiles for everybody. Fiery missiles of death, and a little bit of destruction. Always a pleasant thing. As I mentioned, mass weapons aren't particularly good against planets. These missiles, they're doing a good clip. They're taking them out of a good clip. I should have at least the Loyalists destroyed this turn, not next. Although I wouldn't mind just exterminating the planet at this point. These people rebelled against me, and that is the heater, and it's probably very loud in the headphones, but I don't care. Continue bombardment. Yes. They deserve to die for their crimes. Let us fast forward. And revel in the death of our enemies. At least these. here, they're screaming, so screaming and begging of mercy. Almost. It's a long way to space. I don't particularly care. I have accepted this fact. Indeed. I expect this episode to be over, to be the last one. If not this episode, then the next one. Like I said, unless something happens, I'm not expecting it to, but it could. Oh wait, this episode's almost over. Well, I think. Maybe. Possibly. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, this episode is almost over. <laughs> Don't mind me, everybody! That should do a nice damper to Kupak. Indeed. How's that going? Well, oh. alright, well, next time on Let's Play Sword of the Stars, we... Likely, we finish up the Let's Play.